Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. As you already know, 71% of the Earth is covered in water, among which 97% of it is salt water in the ocean. And while that 97% of the water is too salty to be utilized for useful purposes, such as drinking, growing crops, and for industrial usage, it is home to a vast portion of marine life. While there are more than 236,000 identified marine species, more than 80% of the ocean still remains unexplored. Therefore, it is believed that there could be as many as 25 million species of marine wildlife still out there to be discovered. Among these, scientists have been able to identify approximately 33,600 different fish species, although a big portion of them remains unknown. But amidst these large varieties of identified fish, many of them have a reputation of being extremely poisonous. Number 10. Spotted Trunkfish Mostly found in reefs in the Caribbean and southwestern Atlantic Ocean, spotted trunkfish are commonly known for their beautiful appearance. The species has a yellowish or whitish body, with a regular pattern of black spots covering its whole body. These fish grow to a size from 15 centimeters to 30 centimeters, or 5.9 to 11.8 inches, and have a hard outer covering. Their movement is limited mainly because of their heavy armored scales. When threatened or touched, the trunkfish are known to release a colorless toxin from their glands that could be fatal for surrounding marine creatures, especially those with gills. However, there is no immediate threat to divers, as the toxin is only dangerous when ingested. They are known to possess the ability to wipe out entire aquariums and kill large predators, such as nurse sharks, when eaten. Number 9. Yellow Boxfish Yellow boxfishes belong to the same family as trunkfishes known as the Ostracidae family. They share similar characteristics such as armored body and limited locomotion. These box-shaped fish live in the Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, and the southeastern Atlantic Ocean. When threatened or stressed, they have the ability to inflate and puff up, which makes them look bigger than usual. They also release a toxin known as pahutoxin that is known to break down or destroy red blood cells after being ingested by surrounding marine life. While they are widely sold and eaten by humans, there are reports of serious poisoning in humans who attempted to eat cooked boxfish. Number 8. Stargazers Stargazers have been named the meanest things in creation for their ability to deliver both venom and electric shocks. These strange-shaped fish are often found camouflaged and buried beneath the sand, while staying absolutely still. Their eyes and large mouth are placed on top of their heads, and whenever prey passes overhead, they leap vertically to ambush it. When threatened, they will attack and inflict venom from their two large spines located just above their pectoral fins. While the venom is not fatal, it will cause immense pain and swelling. Moreover, some stargazer species can also cause electric shocks either using their single electric organs consisting of modified eye muscles or from sonic muscles. Fortunately, though, these fish can be eaten without any harm after their electric organs have been removed moved and are a delicacy in some cultures. Number 7. Striped Eel Catfish The striped eel catfish, also known as the Oriental Catfish, can be found in marine systems that include coral reefs, estuaries, tide pools, and other coastal areas of the Indo-Western Pacific. These small creatures have white longitudinal stripes over their dark-skinned body and are always seen to be moving around in a dense ball with hundreds of members. They have a long cylindrical body that flattens into an eel-like tail. While the juveniles are 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches long, they can grow to up to 30 centimeters or 11.8 inches in length. These little aquatic animals might look harmless, but they have an extremely poisonous spine on the first dorsal fin, and also on each of the pectoral fins. The stings are often awfully painful and long-lasting, and in some cases could be fatal. We advise you not to touch the striped eel catfish, as they only attack when provoked, just like every other wild animal. Number 6. Electric Eel you have probably heard of the famous fish capable of instigating electric current and inflicting it upon predators. Scientifically named Electrophorus electricus, this animal is not really an eel. In spite of its name, this fish is actually a member of the neotropical knifefish order, which is much more related to the catfish. Interestingly, unlike other marine animals, they do not have gills and have to come up to the surface to breathe oxygen, despite dwelling mostly at the bottom. Even so, they surprisingly do not have lungs. Weird animals! The electric eel has three pairs of electrical organs that are made of special cells called electrolytes, which give them the ability to produce low and high voltage charges. A full-grown eel is capable of producing nearly 600 volts of electricity, 
However, it is very unlikely for people to die directly from the shock. Nevertheless, a single stunning jolt can incapacitate a person long enough to make it difficult for the victim to swim properly. Therefore, they could drown even in shallow water. Moreover, there is also a possibility of respiratory or heart failure if multiple shocks. Moreover, there is also a possibility of respiratory or heart failure if multiple shocks have been inflicted on the victim. Number 5. Stingrays. Stingrays swim around in tropical and subtropical marine waters, both in the deep oceans and warmer temperature waters. These flat-bodied creatures have a reputation for being gentle and friendly around humans. They can often be seen roaming in the shallow water near the beach without bothering swimmers. There are also tourist activities that involve petting and feeding the stingrays. However, they have a habit of burying themselves on the sea floor, which leaves them vulnerable to being stepped on by swimmers. This causes the threatened fish to respond by slashing its venomous barbed stinger toward the offending human. The stings can be extremely painful, and the toxins released could lead to severe infections. But fortunately, not death. Nevertheless, there is a possibility of the barb piercing through the chest or abdomen area, which could lead to death if immediate medical attention is not provided. The blue spotted and southern stingrays are the most venomous stingrays. Number 4. Pufferfish Pufferfish is one of the more famous ones in this list, for their well-known and unique characteristic of blowing up with air and water to transform into a spherical structure when disturbed. Also known as blowfish or swellfish, these phenomenal aquatic creatures dwell in warm and temperate regions all over the world. Although they primarily live in the sea, they can also be found in brackish or fresh water. Even though these fish are generally small, some are known to grow up to 0.91 meters or 3 feet long. While these creatures may have an alluring and harmless appearance, they are extremely poisonous. They have a toxin in their internal organs known as tetrodotoxin that is deemed to be 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. To put that into context, the pufferfish has enough toxin to kill 30 adult humans. However, the worst part is that there is no antidote to their poison. Surprisingly, these toxic fish are often served as dishes, and if they are not cleaned very carefully, they can be fatal. There is no explanation as to why someone would risk their life to eat something that does not even taste that good either. Number 3. Red Lionfish Lionfish are widely popular for their charismatic appearance and are commonly kept by fish fanciers. They have enlarged pectoral fins and elongated dorsal fin spines and bold white stripes patterned over their body that varies from species to species. The red lionfish that are native to the Indo-Pacific reef ecosystems are attractive creatures with red, white, and brown stripes decorating their whole body. These types usually grow to about 30.48 centimeters, or 12 inches long, and are known to live for up to 10 years. When threatened, they spread and display their large, venomous dorsal spines, similar to a mane, that they may also use to attack you. They might use their fin spines to inflict puncture wounds, which are extremely painful if not fatal. Lionfish are classified as an invasive species, mainly due to the lack of predators and its rapid rate of reproduction. In fact, some states offer cash incentives upon submitting dead lionfish to encourage people to kill and control lionfish populations that are harming native wildlife and habitats. Number 2. Kandiru. Kandiru, also widely known as the vampire fish or toothpick fish, is a scaleless, parasitic freshwater catfish native to the Amazon River region. The eel like fish has a semi transparent body and typically grows up to 2.5 centimeters, or an inch in length. The tiny fish feeds on blood and are mostly found in the gill cavities of other fish. The Kandiru has a reputation for attacking humans and entering the urethra of bathers and swimming animals. However, they are also known to mistake urine for water expelled from the gills of marine animals, and this causes them to swim up the person's genitals. Once in the passage, the Kandiru erects the short spines on its head, thereby causing inflammation, hemorrhage, and sometimes death. While hot baths and herbs capable of dissolving the fish are optimistically recommended to get rid of it, the safest way is amputation. Therefore, if you do not want to face such consequences, we recommend you never pee in the Amazon River. Number 1. Stonefish Stonefish are known to be the most venomous marine fish in the world and can commonly be found roaming in the shallow waters of the tropical Indo-Pacific. These sluggish fish have large heads and mouths, tiny eyes, and bumpy skin covered in wart-like lumps and sometimes fleshy flaps. These thick-set fish are mostly found resting at the bottom among rocks and corals, as well as in mud flats and estuaries. Their form, color, and texture help them blend thoroughly with their surroundings. 
This, in addition to the fact that they are mostly completely stationary, makes it difficult to spot them, and therefore they become susceptible to being stepped on. When done so, the stonefish will pop up its dorsal spines and inject quantities of venom through two sacs at the base of each spine. While the sting undoubtedly causes immense pain, it could lead to further complications, such as swelling, necrosis, and even death. That's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. We hope you're not too distressed to take a dip in the water after hearing about these fish. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!